A. Video equipment for studio shooting YouTube videos, like this here, can be very expensive, pretty bulky and difficult to set up. But it doesn't have to be. What if you wanted to use only your smartphone for studio shooting your YouTube videos? Could you do it? <music> You're usually not gonna want to use batteries that'll run out on you mid-shot. Now using a regular DSLR like this, that's normally running off of battery packs, you're gonna need two things to hook it up to the grid. Number one is what's called a DC coupler. This simulates a battery pack and is placed into the camera instead. Number two is a dedicated AC adapter that then connects the camera to the power outlet. Now neither the coupler nor the dedicated AC adapter come with the camera and you can easily spend around 80 bucks for these two. Which is a bummer because you're gonna hate running out of battery power shooting your brand new camera having only one battery pack. And with other cameras like the Sony Alpha 5100 right here, the equipment you need to run them off the grid comes with the camera but you can either charge it or shoot with it. Now all of these problems are irrelevant when you're studio shooting your smartphone. The equipment you need to run it off the grid comes with the package with every smartphone. It's just called a charging cable. <laughs> Now most DSLRs come with a microphone input like this that allow you to use external audio and record it directly to the camera. But seriously, a lot of those cameras lack a headphone output. Merely checking it through the speakers on the camera isn't really checking it at all. You really want to be able to hook up some headphones to your camera to check or monitor your audio. Now can you hook up external audio to your smartphone? Sure you can. For example, right now what you're hearing is my Audio-Technica ATR3350 lav mic that is simply hooked up to a Sennheiser wire adapter that is then hooked up to my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. This great wire adapter from Sennheiser also allows me to hook up headphones to check and monitor my audio. Now you can hook up any kind of mic that comes with its own power source, like the ATR3350 here, or like this Rode VideoMic Pro for example, that also has its own power supply and is simply connected to an extension cable that then connects to the microphone input of the Sennheiser wire adapter that then connects it to the smartphone. Then of course, there are your smaller microphones, like this Rode Video Micro, for example, That'll do a great job in picking up your voice and improving the quality of your audio. And the same goes for something like the Rode VideoMic ME here, that's a dedicated directional microphone for use with mobile devices. Using the Rode VideoMic ME allows you to skip on the Sennheiser wire adapter because on its spec the Rode VideoMic ME has a headphone input. Of course, any DSLR or mirrorless camera that either has an interchangeable lens mount system or a zoom lens built in, you have zoom range. With smartphones, as of yet, you're pretty much stuck with prime lenses. But of course, if you own a phone that has the camera in the corner, you can use clip-on lenses. Or in the case of the Samsung Galaxy S line, they have a Samsung lens cover. Because the Samsung lens cover gives you an additional super wide angle and a tally lens. In my case, using the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and the Samsung lens cover, I now have four lenses to choose from. The super wide angle, the selfie cam, the rear camera, and the tele lens. And then in a studio-like environment, like we're talking about right now, where you can move the camera, the lights, the background, and the subject, four lenses to choose from, in my humble opinion, is enough variety to shoot video. <music> Now the last thing you're gonna want when studio shooting is the ability to use an external monitor to check framing, to check color, just to make sure what the image looks like that you're gonna record. And it's called mirror. And I can use this to pretty much check what I'm recording. Sometimes if the connection isn't that good, the lag is noticeable, but for the most part, it's like almost lag free or the lag is very, very minimal and doesn't hinder you in working. Check out this video that'll explain how to do this. Now, if you're interested in producing a video like that yourself, check out this video that I shot that shows you how all of this is set up, what kinds of lights I use, how the camera is set up and everything else. Now, if you like this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer quick. In any case, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Oh, 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 oh,